Okay, folks, let's be honest. When you hear a, a, a Linux OS has name called Fat Dog 64, who isn't going to take a look at it? So, Fat Dog 64, originally created as a fatter derivative of Puppy Linux, has grown to be an independent and mature Linux distribution. So, in case you didn't know, Puppy Linux is basically a Linux distro that's really meant to be extremely, extremely lightweight and available for, uh, you know, to be run from a flash drive or for a really low powered uh, type of system. And uh, on the other side, there is Fat Dog. And Fat Dog, of course, as they've mentioned, is a fat version of of puppy that's become independent so uh, by the looks of things it comes in two flavors so it comes in a TXE package uh, which is compressed it also has SSFS so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take a look at this fat dog of course why not Fat Dog 64 900, the latest ISO. Okay, Fat Dog or Puppy NTS. So I'm just going to say generic Linux 2022. Let's give the 6 gigs, 8 CPU cores, 100 gig hard drive, and Fat Dog 64 is the name. Okay, so, wow, okay, so you get Fat Dog 64 with the safe file and USB support, with multi-session support, with Alive M, without a safe file, without a graphical interface, good lord, for machines with slow BIOS, for problematic Radeon cards, you can disable Radeon, for problematic NVIDIA, disable it, okay, we're just going to choose the normal Fat Dog. This definitely so far seems to be something that might be good to have on the flash drive. Um, especially if you need to get data from a machine you don't know. Wow, that was quick. Proceed. And my local is English American. Huh? Oh, yes, YouTube eight. Okay. Wow, again that was quick. Uh, system G slapped package manager. That's interesting. That's what uh, Slackware uses. Uh, I just want, I'm trying to just see how I can configure switch to JWM. What on earth? Okay. Uh, control panel. Display, display properties. Uh, 920 by 1080. 920 by 1080. Okay. And here we've got the. Okay, so you can either use Openbox or JWM. I'm using JWM because why not? And are you a puppy user? Then it tells you the history how it's a derivative of puppy and how it's now more independent and I believe you can actually install this as well if you want to so there's a whole guided installation but I think uh, it's pre plenty fast enough that we can just look at it out of the box so you've got home okay so you've got a web browser which is CMonkey yeah the Okay, that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's just minimize that. Okay, oh, there's a user agent switcher as well, so I'm just going to close all these tabs. Uh, close that there. What's in help? Okay, how to install it. Do not install bootloader. Okay, so let's look at the menu. We have desktop and this. 
which is an on-screen keyboard. Okay, good to know. Quit that. Okay, good. We've got system, calibrate touchscreen, fat dog help, G Smart Control. G Smart Control. Uh, we've got Task Manager. So this thing's only using 347 megs of memory. Wow, that's nothing. Damn. Set up uh, the package manager, the control menu, utilities, file system, network shares, rocks filer. What the hell is rocks file? Oh, that's the file manager. Uh, cloud disk. Oh, if you want to, I guess, mount a, one of, a web dev FTP or SSH session. That's convenient. Genie. Uh, leaf pad and extract file system again mountain shares and mountain shares okay it's GUI oh searching for files and folders all right graphics uh, LibreOffice LibreOffice maths uh, GUNU document creation LibreOffice writer. That's strange. I would even for something called Fat Dog, I would think LibreOffice would be a bit uh, heavyweight for it, but apparently not. And this is version seven point five two two. Okay. Uh, calculator. There's two. Calculator. So calculator looks like this, uh, app to unit converters, because you never know when you need to convert between different conversions. A personal scene monkey dress book, P clock time tools, stopwatch. This thing really has everything in it, including the kitchen sink, doesn't it? Um, terminal, Tiger VNC, internet, Google Chrome browser. Links browser, which is the text browser. If you need a browser, now the thing like is for install Google Chrome can be installed with the G Slack package manager. Click yes. Yes. Uh, so it's there, but not actually there. Then there's also VLC. Always a good addition to have. Uh, well, and then of course you've got other additional multimeter stuff like screencaster, DDS9, uh, wave sampling, GTX, fun, pipe panic, Kirby Deluxe, reboot, control panel help, and switching window managers. So, quite an array of applications. So if I switch uh, back to Open box. Uh, same applications, of course, are installed, and this, of course, has the closer to uh, look here. Uh, this is the fat dot control menu, so you can configure it a little bit more. I mean, here's the. Uh, there's actually quite a bit of extra stuff here. Quick setup, desktop wallpaper. Okay. Ah, doesn't that look better? Okay, so we definitely want this. Um, configure this fat dog control uh, panel control menu. That's where all the stuff to customize is. Uh, sound, a uh, network, disk, install, third party software installers. Okay, so if you want to get, uh, like we did now, getting Google Chrome, getting Java, uh, the G Slapped Package Manager. Okay, so this, of course, is a uh, force to get a. Uh, she slapped is the fronting for slapped get. So this is obviously based, uh, got some slackware 
underneath here. Hence SFS manager. Okay, that's pretty cool. Nice to see this uh, HTOP here. Again, hardly using much more memory. And install. So let's see how would we get the fact dog installed. So there's a normal installer, UEFI installer, remaster, live CD. Okay, so you can recreate a live CD based on the install. So I'm just going to do fact 60, uh, fact dog 64 installer. Okay, we are not running on a UEFI system, so it's fine. Uh, way to go. So I'm gonna say modify partitions. Done. Okay, so Google Chrome, by the way, should be installed. Yeah, yeah so that did work. And sort of file system. Okie dokie. So we'll just do a create a partition table and we'll just do a new root partition and we'll write it. In this case, we're making ext4 and format as ext4 next. Uh, and still boot load on MBR. Okay, that's fine. Install from CD, which it should think it is right now. Huh. Install. So I guess it just copies the image. Completed successfully, no way. Okay, well, we'll do a reboot and see if it comes up again, but if not, um, remain of the applications here, networking tool, volume tool, um, graphical disk map. So let's do a reboot and see what happens here. We're running in RAM, none of you, you need to create a save file. No, we don't want to create a save file. No, no, yes, reboot. Who would he? Yeah, no bootable devices, obviously does something wrong. So who would this be for? Well, this would be for if you, you know, are using a lower powered machine and you want to use something that's maybe not a complete environment, but something more low key, using short amount of memory. Why not? If you just want to have an emergency system on you that can basically uh, do everything, including the kitchen sink, why not use Fat Dog? Folks, um, leave your comments below. It'd be great to hear what you think of it and your comments. As always, thank you for watching and bye for now.